Olite S series has been one of my favorites. In fact, this is an S10 baton. I use this every day. Uh, you can tell because it is really beat up. But this is one of my favorite lights. It puts out a lot of light with the beam. Now here's just an ST25 baton. Uh, it uses the uh, standard AA batteries. This uses the CR123s. These are excellent lights. They just hold up well. I love the size. And there's nothing I like better. Except that Olight has come out with the S10 baton that's the rechargeable. The S15 and the S20. This is the S20R, the S15R, and the S10R. So now instead of buying brand new CR123s, I can recharge these lights directly. The S Baton series has definitely been one of my favorites. Uh, the S10 Baton, again, I carry that thing everywhere. Uh, it's just the perfect size for me with the brightness and the lumen setting. Uh, the biggest difference between these lights is really the size and the battery packs. Uh, you know, it, all three are rechargeable, which makes it great. Uh, the tiny little charging station, this is really easy to carry no matter what. And we're going to look at some really cool features about having this small piece that you can carry with you anywhere. But having the ability to recharge your light is just phenomenal. And it definitely will save on batteries. Uh, especially if you're looking at the CR123s, the rechargeable AA uh, size batteries, or the 18650. Any of the lithium ion batteries. In each package you get your light, you get a docking station, you get a non-slip pad to put on under your docking station, a little USB cable, of course you get your standard O-rings with your little split ring, and you get a nice little lanyard. Also, of course, complete instructions. Take the USB cable. Right here it says in. Take your little input. Slide it in, into the docking station. Then you connect your USB to your computer or any kind of USB port. Of course, at the base of your light, you have your connection. Then take the light, and it's magnetic. It'll hold it right into place. And that is a beautiful sight. Now this base is really cool. It's really low profile. Of course, the, the cord comes out and you can stow this away again really easily. But with the USB feature, one of the great things about that is that if you have a power source, such as a backup solar battery or, or different items, you can actually plug this in directly to a power source, a battery. And so that way you can carry this and then you can have extended power behind it. Uh, I've done a number of backup battery systems recently, even with flashlights, and you can actually plug that in. But one feature that I really love is being able to hook up my phone to this same charger. I can plug it in as long as I have a USB, and then I can charge my phone. So this gives you multiple purposes for this charger. Now these are lined up for size, but if you're going to line it up for power, we're going to have to move the S15R here and put the S10 in the middle. The S20R goes from 550 lumens all the way down to 1 lumen. And the runtime is 480 hours on the 1 lumen setting. On the S15R, it's 280 lumens all the way down to a half of a lumen. And the S10R is 400 lumens all the way down to 0.05 lumens as well. To access the light, just click it on. And it's going to go to the next memory setting. Whatever you have on, you leave it on for two seconds and cut it off. It will always go back to that setting with a single click. If you hold down, it'll go to the next setting and then the next setting. There we go. We're on Now we're on turbo, and this is with the S20R. Uh, this is 550 lumens, and of course, it is really blindingly bright. Of course, my camera will adjust for the light. Now, all the mode settings are the same. It's mainly lumen difference. So, one of the things you'll get is a moonlight setting. If you hold down, it, it, there's where your half lumen, or for the S20R, this is a full lumen. And this is great for reading. This will be, extend your battery life greatly. In fact, this is uh, 480 hours right here at this setting. Now, if you cut it off, if you double click from off, then you go straight to your full turbo setting. So that's a great way to be able to hit your lowest setting by just holding it and then your highest setting by double clicking uh, just at your fingertips. Now if you have it clicked on and you double click then you hit your strobe setting. So it's a pretty simple system. Uh, it's very intuitive and I really like simple. Now the S10R uses the CR123R and that's how it's powered the rechargeable. Here we have the S15R and it uses 
the 14500, which is the, the same size as your AA battery. And then we have the 18650 uh, rechargeable here for the S20R. Uh, you can use two regular CR123s. You can use a AA. You can use a standard CR123 in an emergency. But with the S15R, if you have one of the rechargeable AA's, you really shouldn't put that on the charging station. The charging station is made exclusively for lithium ion rechargeable batteries. They all have hard anodized aluminum housings, uh, very durable, and the finish holds up really well. Uh, the pocket clip is a deep pocket clip. The pocket clips are reversible, but really the S10 is the best one. It stays right in the same length as the light. The other two can actually extend out past, but this is a really secure clip. Again, it's the exact same clip that the S10 has. Your power switch right here is recessed. One of the issues that a lot of people had with the S10 is accidentally hitting that light and bringing it on. With the early model, there wasn't that much of a problem, but with the later models, there were. So this recesses the button, plus it has a small little stainless steel bezel to help protect it from really, unless you're just right on top of it, being able to turn it on. But it is easy to turn on once you mean to turn it on. This attaches to your recharging base, but it's also magnetic. And that's going to allow you to do work hands-free if you want to set it somewhere and just put it up, or if you want to stow it away for magnetic purposes, just be able to stow it in a steel cabinet or even in your vehicle. The tempered glass lens has anti-reflective properties on both sides. So it's going to allow for 99% light transmission, which is fantastic. It does have a stainless steel bezel that's going to protect the lens. And inside has a glow-in-the-dark O-ring. So when the light is off, after you've been shining it, it will glow in the dark. Of course, we have the bright light, but once it's off, you have a glowing bezel. And that way, in case you drop your light, you can find it. That glowing bezel is pretty cool. It actually hits the reflector and it actually adds more light. It has a nice high polish reflector and in there is a Cree XM L2 LED and they're cool white. And that's all of these lights have the same feature. They are rated IPX7 which means it's waterproof. Okay, Here we have the light tied off. We're going to drop it down into the pool. Uh, it is IPX7 which means it's waterproof and dustproof. These are shockproof up to about five feet. Part of that has to do with the spring that's back here at the battery. And that's going to protect your battery. It's going to keep it from impacting coming on. Uh, also, there is a thermal management safety program, which keeps it from overheating. If these are left on for more than four and a half minutes, they will drop down to 50% power. And so that's also going to save your battery and your flashlight. Now while the lights differ in length, they're all .91 inches, so they're just under an inch in diameter. The length of the S10R is just under 3 inches at 2.89 inches. It weighs 1.5 ounces. The S15R is 3.6 inches, and the weight on it is 1.52 ounces. The S20R is 4.25 inches, and it weighs 1.83 ounces. Here we have the S15R, and we're going to start with it, and we're going to move up the line. I'm going to go ahead and just put on the brightest setting. And that fence is only about 15 yards off, but you can see it's a pretty bright light. Then we're just going to go down with the settings. There's on low, there's your next setting, and there's your high. Here we have strobe. Here we have the S10R baton. Now we're going to go through the settings. I'm going to hold it down. Low is going to be pretty low, but up close you can definitely read a map or do any find something. Then we're going up to the next setting. This is your medium setting here, then of course your turbo. Now we have strobe. Here we have the S20R baton, of course this is the brightest of the bunch. Start out with our bright setting, 550 lumens. We're going to just go ahead and go down the line. That's our medium setting. And then we're going up to turbo and strobe. One thing about the S20R also is it would make more of a defensive option uh, for non-lethal if you had this in your pocket. Here is the moonlight setting. And we're just going to move up the rung. It's a pretty bright light. Okay, here we are with the S20R in this field down here. That tree is about 50 yards out. Not the small one here, that's about 10 yards. 
but the big tree down there is about 50 yards and it really lights up that area it gives it a really nice flood if you can see right here the spill is nice and then it has a nice hot spot it's pretty wide it's not super pinpoint but that has everything to do with that shallow reflector but it does give you a lot of light for this size I have to say that the SR Baton series is one of my favorite lighting setups yet. And Olight continues to make new progress in technology and it's just great to be able to have all of these uh, portable, able to carry it, able to recharge it, and yet have quite a bit of light to be able to take care of about any task. The retail price on the S10R and the S15R is $59.95. Uh, you can get that at Going Gear for $44.96. And then here with the S20R, runs $69.95, and at Going Gear you can get it for $52.46. Then you can get your 10% discount using Such00 when you check out. And free shipping for orders over $49 in the continental U.S. So it's a great source, really great prices for a fantastic light. I want to thank Marshall at Going Gear for providing the lights for this review. Uh, they're down in Smyrna, Georgia. Great brick and mortar store but also a huge selection of flashlights online in fact up to 800 different type of flashlights so it's a one-stop shop it's just a great source it's a place that I love to go it's very dangerous when I go down there because I always come back with a handful of flashlights the S series rechargeable flashlights Olight you're doing a great job thumbs way up be strong be of good courage God bless America long live the Republic The Olight, the Olight S10, the Olight S10R, Olight S, the Olight S10R, S15R. <laughs> the Olight SR series is excellent. I highly recommend it. Not only are you saving money, but you're also saving the earth. Sounds good anyway. <laughs> and as you can see right there, I don't know what the crap that is, but it's looking right at me. But those eyes are green. Ooh, that's just flipping crazy. I'm glad I got my Glock 40s, all I know.